esteemed colleagues and distinguished guests, I am profoundly grateful for the honor of speaking before you today. My sincerest thanks to Dr. Amar Agarwal, Dr. Rohit Amparkash, and the Selection Committee for extending this invitation. It is a privilege to contribute to the evolving narrative of ophthalmology in this prestigious forum. These are my disclosures. Imagine a year ago the concepts we're about to discuss would have belonged squarely in the realm of science fiction. Today, they stand as a testament to the rapid evolution in our field. Artificial intelligence is revolutionizing ophthalmology, particularly cataract surgery, turning what was once speculative into our current reality. Think of AI not as a monolith, but rather as a Lego structure, a construction that's both modular and intricate. Each block represents a different technique, a unique algorithm, a distinct data structure. Together, these pieces interlock to form the sophisticated edifice of AI. And just as a child uses Lego to build worlds limited only by imagination, we too are using the diverse components of AI to construct new realms of possibility in ophthalmology. The objective of any study determines the path for the AI strategy we choose. The right tool for the right problem ensures precision in our scientific inquiry and interventions. Let's see how some of these strategies play out in the field of ophthalmology. Machine learning exemplifies the practical side of AI. For example, in the study published in January of 2023, shown here, algorithms digest multimodal imaging to predict AMD progression, a marvel that not only enhances our diagnostic acumen, but also expands the horizon of patient care. Random forests, an ensemble model, shed light on the behavioral patterns of ophthalmologists themselves, showing measurable changes in practice post-clinical lectures, a reflection of how AI informs not just patient outcomes, but our professional growth as well. In the example I show here, I had an audience manage synthetic patients generated by an AI. The audience members then attended a lecture of mine on the optics of multifocal IOLs. A week later, they used the AI simulator again. An AI decision tree algorithm was able to show how their practice patterns changed a week after attending the lecture. Linear regression, our familiar statistical method, can be seen as a sort of proto-AI, laying the groundwork for complex predictive models and shaping our understanding of data-driven decision-making. Linear regression can also be thought of as a process to separate two groups within a data set. However, linear regression is limited by its being linear. Support vector machines, an AI technique, allows the identification of groups within the midst of a data set. How might this be used in ophthalmology? It is this strategy that is employed by the Hill RBF formula to identify the correct intraocular lens for a patient based upon biometry. How else might identification of a group within a larger data set be used in ophthalmology? I can envision a support vector machine gathering data from surgical videos and FACO parameters in real time in order to flag potential complications before they arise acting as a guardian in the operating room. Imagine anti-lock breaks for cataract surgery, preventing capsular rupture or zonular dialysis. The layers of the retina remarkably, and not coincidentally, parallel the hidden layers in a neural network, each layer representing the world in its own unique way to contribute to a holistic vision, both literally and metaphorically. Google's ambitious project leverages CNN's convolutional neural networks to sift through retinal images, identifying early stages of diabetic retinopathy. It is a testament to the profound potential AI holds in preemptive disease detection. Large language models, such as GPT-4, 
represent the cutting edge of AI, processing language and knowledge in ways that were once the sole province of human intellect. Consider a large language model distilling a rather intricate paper by Dr. Rohit Amparkash into digestible information for patients. This is the caliber of AI's potential to bridge the gap between esoteric scientific knowledge and patient comprehension. Here I am loading this very paper by Dr. Parkash into ChatGPT4 and asking it to present it in a manner that a patient might understand. What does the future hold for us with respect to AI in ophthalmology, particularly AI in the future of cataract surgery? The medical industry's engagement with AI is evident in emerging ophthalmic surgical products, a shared vision to enhance clinical outcomes through technology. What can we expect in the near term? Rather than an external algorithm like a web-based IOL calculator, we will see AI embedded into the devices we use. AI's promise extends to ophthalmic disease detection for pediatricians as well, with devices specifically designed to detect keratoconus in its nascent stages in children, setting the stage for early intervention. As we conclude, I extend my deepest gratitude to you, my peers, for your engagement and to my hosts for their gracious invitation. It is together that we will navigate the exciting future that AI promises in our field. For those interested in delving deeper, I invite you to scan the QR code, which will direct you to a website hosting a video of this lecture and other materials relating to artificial intelligence in ophthalmology. Here's to continued learning and collaboration.